Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about top data modeling concepts, interview questions, and answers. What is data modeling? Data modeling is the process of creating a visual representation of either a whole information system or parts of it to communicate connections between data points and structures. The goal is to illustrate the types of data used and stored within the system, the relationships among these data types, the ways that data can be grouped and organized, and its formats and attributes. Is the process of describing information stru structures and capturing business rules to specify information system requirement. Data models represent a balance between the specific needs of an RDMS implementation project and the general needs of the business area that requires it. What are the benefits of data modeling? Data modeling makes it easier for developers, data architects, business analysts, and other stakeholders to view and understand relationships among the data in a database or data warehouse. And the benefits, it can reduce errors in software and database development, increase consistency in the documentation and system design across the enterprise, improve application and database performance, ease data mapping throughout the organization, improve communication between developers and business intelligence teams, ease and speed the process of database design at the conceptual, logical, and physical level. A data model is independent of implementation, so it doesn't require that the implementation is in any database or programming language. A data model is an unambiguous specification of what is wanted. The model is business user driven. The business client controls the content and structure of the model rather than the system developer. The emphasis is on requirements rather than constraints or solution. What are the types of data models? There are three types of data models. They are conceptual data models, logical data models, physical data models. Let's talk about each model, each data model in detail. Let's talk about conceptual data model. They are also referred to as domain models and offer a big picture view of what the system will contain, how it will be organized and which business rules are involved. Conceptual models are usually created as part of the process of gathering initial project requirement. Typically, they include entity classes, their characteristics and constraints, the relationships between them and relevant security and data integrity requirements. Any notation is typically simple. Let's talk about logical data models. They are less abstract and provide greater detail about the concepts and relationships in the domain under consideration. One of several formal data modeling notation systems is followed. These indicate data attributes such as data types and their corresponding lengths and show the relationships among entities. Logical data models don't specify any technical system requirements. This stage is frequently omitted in agile or DevOps practices. Logical data models can be useful in highly procedural implementation environments or for projects that are data oriented by nature, such as data warehouse design or reporting system development. The last one, physical data models. The physical data models provide a schema for how the data will be physically stored within a database. As such, they are the least abstract of all. They offer a finalized design that can be implemented as a relational database, including associative tables that illustrate the relationships among entities, as well as primary keys and foreign keys that will be used to maintain those relationships. Physical data models can include database management system specific properties, including performance tuning. What is logical model? We just discussed about logical data models and other models. Logical data modeling level where we create a conceptual model that contains objects such as entities, attributes, and key groups. 
what is physical model the physical data model is the level where we add database and database management systems specific modeling information such as tables columns and data types what are the highest level models the highest level models come in two forms they are entity relationship diagram that is erd and key based that is kb let's talk about entity relationship diagram identify erd identifies major business entities and their relationships and key based sets the scope of the business information requirement and begins to expose the detail what are the lowest level models fully at fully attributed transformation model and dbms model are the lowest level model let's talk about fully attributed model fully attributed model represents a third normal form model that contains all of the detail for a particular implementation effort the transformation model represents a transformation of the relational model into a structure which is appropriate to the dbms chosen for implementation the transformation model in most cases is no longer in third normal form the structures are optimized based on the capabilities of dbms the data volume and the expected access patterns and rates against the data in a way a transformation model is a picture of the eventual physical database design the last one dbms model the database design is contained in the dbms model for the system the dbms model can be project level model or an area level model for the entire integrated system what is an erwin data modeler erwin data modeler is a data modeling and dis database design tool that is used to create conceptual logical and physical data model erwin can create the actual database from the physical model and create different physical implementations from a single logical model. Irwin can also reverse engineer existing databases into a data model diagram. Irwin works with many database management systems. Outputs from the tool include entity relationships, diagrams, and standard or custom reports on all objects in the design. Irwin Data Modeler is a data modeling tool that supports conceptual as well as logical and physical models to help business and technical stakeholders collaborate on the design of information system and the database that power them. What are the levels of logical models that are used to capture business information requirements? There are three levels of logical models that are used to capture business information requirements. They are entity relationship diagram, key-based model, and fully attributed model. What are the levels of physical models exist for an implementation project? There are two levels of physical models exist for an implementation project. That is TM, transformation model, and DBMS model. What is an entity relationship diagram? The entity relationship diagram is a high level data model that shows the major entities and relationships which support a wide business area. An entity relationship diagram is primarily a presentation or discussion model. Entity relationship diagram, also known as ERD, ER diagram or ER model, is a type of structural diagram for use in database design and erd contains different symbols and connectors that visualize to important information the major entities within the system scope and the interrelationships among these entities what are entity and attribute let's discuss about entity an entity represents a set of real or abstract things that have common attributes or characteristics Entities can be either independent, independent or dependent. What is attribute? Attribute represents a type of characteristic or property associated with a set of real or abstract things. What are primary key and foreign key? A primary key is a column or a set of columns in a table whose values uniquely identify a row in the table. 
An attribute or attributes that uniquely identify an instance of an entity. If more than one attribute or group of attributes can uniquely identify each instance, the primary keys is chosen from this list of candidates based on its perceived value to the business as an identifier. Ideally, primary keys shouldn't change over time and should be as small as possible. A unique index for each primary key is generated. What is foreign key? A foreign key is a column or a set of columns in a table whose values correspond to the values of the primary key in another table. An attribute that has migrated through a relationship from a parent entity to a child entity. A foreign key represents a secondary reference to a single set of values. The primary reference is the own attribute. What is normalization? Normalization is a database design technique that reduces data redundancy and eliminates undesirable characteristics like insertion, update, and deletion anomalies. Normalization rules divides larger tables into smaller tables and links them using relationships. The purpose of normalization in SQL is to eliminate redundant data and ensure data is stored logically. Normalization is the process of process by which data in a relational construct is organized to minimize redundancy and non-relational constructs. Normalization in relational database design is the process by which data in a relational construct is organized to minimize redundancy and non-relational constructs. Can you explain first normal form, second normal form, and third normal form? Let's talk about first normal form. An entity is in first normal form if and only if all underlying values contain only atomic values. Any repeating groups must be eliminated. What is second normal form? An entity is in second normal form if it is in first normal form and every non-key attribute is fully dependent on the primary key. In other words, there are no partial key dependencies Dependence is on the entire key of entity and not on a proper subset of key. What is third normal form? An entity is in third normal form if it is in second normal form and no non-key attributes of entity is dependent on another non-key attribute. There are several equivalent ways to express third normal form. Another way is an entity is in third normal form if it is in second normal form and every non-key attribute is non-transitively dependent on the primary key. What are the most common design problems are a result of violating one of the normal forms? Repeating data groups, multiple use of the same attribute, multiple occurrences of the same fact, conflicting facts, derived attributes and missing information, are the most common design problems are a result of violating one of the normal forms. What is denormalization? Denormalization is a strategy used on a previously normalized database to increase performance. The idea behind it is to add redundant data where we think it will help us the most. We can use extra attributes in existing table, add new tables, or even create instances of existing table. The usual goal is to decrease the running time of the select queries by making data more accessible to the queries or by generating summarized reports in separate tables. This process can bring some new problems also. To allow data redundancy in a table to improve query performance. We can also denormalize the structure of the logical model or allow data redundancy in a table to improve query performance so that we can build a related physical model that is designed effectively for the target relational database management system. So far in this module, we discussed about some top level data modeling concepts and top interview questions and answers. If you have any questions on this, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.